In the race is already determined. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a fait accompli. The mm -hmm. uh, race is won. It's won by Zimio Oka coalition. Uh, the hopes on the other side, uh, Uda, was that we were either going to go alone as Oka, and on, or, but well, we we were very expressed and explicit in our position from the beginning that we were, there was no chance, you know, no chance at all in us joining UDA or rather going into a coalition with UDA. The choice was either between cutting a very intricate, uh, delicate uh, political negotiation with, with uh, Zimio mm -hmm. and, 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 and basically working with Zimio or going it alone. And we looked at everything and I think finally we, we, we reached the, the best decision for the country. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, getting into a, the Zimio coalition and being part of that Zimio coalition. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but this this not just did not come about like that. I mean, anything that takes a lot of work, a lot of inputs into, is bound to become fairly sustainable in the future. Yeah. When you rush into any any kind of a, uh, an agreement or a, 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 a contract. Mm -hmm. The tendency is that there are a lot of things that have not been spelled out in that uh, agreement. And they can become sticking points in the later running of the system itself. So we took our time. We've gone through all that. And uh, we are happy that uh, it, we, it came into the, what we assume right now mm -hmm. uh, is as, the, as, the, as the best uh, case scenario for the country and for the future of, uh, of this country. Mm -hmm. uh, would you share details of what it took because yeah, look when you go into these kind of things i mean mm -hmm. uh, they are not public negotiations mm -hmm. and and some of the mistakes we make in the politics in this country is that uh, in other parts of the world secrets are kept for 50 years for 100 years sometimes mm -hmm. and only after that is when they are allowed now to become something for the scholarly work of the rest of and at that time almost everybody who has been involved in that mm -hmm is dead. Mm -hmm. you, you get my point, if not all. Mm. Uh, so so let, let's also learn to, as a country, conduct politics with a, a very powerful measure of maturity. You, you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. What we discuss ourselves is not there mm. for the public. Yep. We, it's there for us to implement it. Mm -hmm. You remember sometimes back, uh, 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 there was uh, an agreement between Kalonzo and uh, uh, Raila. Mm -hmm. A written agreement, as a matter of fact. And the Kenyan public really wanted uh, to have, uh, 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 to see it, how it was like. And, and we, 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 we said no. Uh, Kalonzo said, absolutely not. This is national interest. So between two very senior politicians who have sat down together and agreed on something, for you to easily, you know, throw it around in the, in, in, for public domain mm -hmm. is, is, is a measure of how, how immature uh, a nation's political class, top political classes, and God forbid, we'll never do that. So even now, we're not going to share with the public uh, the things that we agreed on. You know what I mean? It's for us there to implement. Th that's an interesting uh, perspective. I don't know what the, the other... Look, uh, yeah, we, we will not. I will tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. We will not, uh, because uh, the country is bigger. Mm -hmm. We are looking at the country much more than we are looking at anything else. And we want to create a culture, a political culture in this country that essentially is, is as good as the best you can find anywhere else in the world. And, and that's why I, I started by telling you, right. some secrets are kept for 50 years, mm -hmm. others are kept for 100 years in the rest of the world, others are in the Cape forever. <laughs> you get my point? Yep. They're kept forever. Sometimes so, in so, this country they are kept until... Well, well, they, they until there's followed. a small disagreement yeah. between two of them and they say, no, no, that's R not. Right. Even if they're not followed to the letter, mm -hmm. these agreements, we will, we will never be out there to tell people that, oh, so-and-so has, you know, uh, uh, has, has, has breached our agreement and the rest. No, no, no. These are things for, look, I was a very good friend and a student of a number of uh, very senior politicians. I had the opportunity in my early 30s mm -hmm. to get into the parliament, the seventh parliament. And who were they in the seventh parliament? Jeremogi Oginga Dinga was there. Mm. Ochenga Neko was there. Dennis Okumu was there, who was a trade unionist for all those years. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Sigini was there. Onyonka, who came much later, was there. Now, and, and, and I took myself because, thank God, I'm a very keen learner. 
So I went on their feet there to discuss with them the past of this country. And neither Jaramogi nor Chengo Neko would discuss Kenyatta until they went to the graves. Mm, yeah. You see what I mean? Uh, many of us believe that, okay, Kenyatta has thrown, <laughs> you know, Chengo Neko was in, 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 in detention mm -hmm. much more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And then his own close friend and confidante, he was a very close confidante of Kenyatta, again threw him back in detention. In detention. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there for many years. Ordinarily, you would expect certain bitterness from them. No, he didn't have that bitterness. He would laugh and say, that was my friend. And I'm not willing to discuss any of those things. No, no, that, that, that's fine. Um, and, and the same thing also with Jaramogi, by the way. Right. Jaramogi would never discuss, uh, uh, the, because I was very close to him, by the way. Mm -hmm. Extremely close to him for those years until he passed on. And, and we, you know, it was the biggest shock for me. Okay. And he called me my son. Uh, you get my point. Uh, one of those very first orphans of him. He would never discuss the issues with Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Because he knows it's in the national interest of certain things not to mm -hmm. be discussed. Yep. Okay. And for the future.